Two billion dollars invested in Emirati startups in 2022. In comparison, other Gulf countries like Qatar have only attracted 30 million dollars over the year. The disparities are widening in this region where the term startup did not even exist until recently. When we started out 10 years ago, we, you know, struggled to find eight startups to showcase. We had 100 people only, and now we have over 8,000 people attend, hundreds of startups. So it really helps um, with the promotion of the ecosystem and bringing investors and startups and founders together and to discuss, you know, all tech topics. Um, definitely have a lot of success stories. We have Magnet that launched that step, and now they're one of the biggest data platforms. We have Eventus, who's an app that got acquired and many more other startups like eCar and Little Thinking Minds that are, have now gone on to raise millions in investment. But the Arab heavyweights, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, are still far from Israel, where investments are 10 times higher. That said, all these countries are suffering in the same way from the consequences of the pandemic, with the world growth divided by two, and from the war between Russia and Ukraine, two considerable suppliers of manpower in the new technology sector. Therefore, in a still very fragmented Middle East, the creators rely mainly on public incentives. The government uh, initiatives here have really been, you know, a great help in attracting founders and entrepreneurs to not only set up, but also those who are based outside of the region to actually set up other offices here and have other branches. Um, you know, there are big markets here, you know, uh, not only UAE, you know, there's investors that are very interested in investing in the ecosystem. Sequoia Capital just announced their first investment in the region, and that's massive news. So uh, we're expecting to see a lot more of that. And really having the emerging markets surrounding UAE, um, you know, there's only more room for growth. But the road is still long. Other regions of the world, such as South America, attract twice as much investment for a globally equivalent population size and level of education.